his suicide in a Delano prison last week, Lawrence Phillips' family has now agreed to let the former NFL player's brain be used by researchers. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. It's an effort to determine if football may have played a role in his demise. 23 ABC's Twilon Nugent spoke with the doctors to discuss what is known about a disease called CTE and why Lawrence's brain could help uncover more information. Twilon? Thanks, Tim and Jackie. Now, CTE, short for chronic traumatic encephalopathy, has been found in the brains of dozens of former NFL players after their death, and the disease has been thrust into the spotlight after a pending lawsuit and a recent film. Men, your men, continue to die. That movie, Concussion. NFL players dying as a result of repeated head injuries sustained on the football field. Players like Bakersfield's Frank Gifford suffered from CTE, and now the family of former running back Lawrence Phillips looking for a diagnosis. We will have that opportunity to not only take a look at his brain, but we can try to help other NFL players, other uh, Pee Wee, middle school, high school, and college players because these kids are having all sorts of issues. The Phillips family attorney says after Lawrence's suicide at Kern Valley State Prison in Delano last week, he knew there was an opportunity to help others suffering from brain injury. I asked for his brain uh, because I know how important it is to get his brain and Dave Durison's and Junior Seau, um, Mike Webster, all these players. If you think about it, how bad must it have been for those other players that took their own lives and they preserved their brains so that they could provide research on the science of medicine and brain injury. And I thought it was that important that we went those extra steps. The extra steps to donate Phillips's brain to researchers at Boston University because CTE is only diagnosed after death because physical symptoms can vary so much. The sort of hallmark of it is, is cognitive impairment and cognitive decline. Um, but that ranges in a spectrum. On the more mild end, people complain of mood disorders, the headaches, cognitive problems. On the most severe end, it presents similar to dementia. It's undetermined if Phillips' criminal history was at all influenced by CTE, but the Lawrence family's attorney hopes that if CTE is the diagnosis, research can help others on and off the field. I mean, we're helping everybody, including the service members and you know the folks in California and elsewhere um, that are affected by brain injury. And local neurologists agree. And I think it's the awareness alone is helpful in terms of limiting exposure to the degree that people are able and willing. Limiting exposure by limiting head trauma when possible. And Phillips' diagnosis could take up to six months. But Kern County actually has a consortium that aims to educate and reduce injury for athletes of all ages. A symposium is scheduled for October 3rd. Live in studio, Twila Nugent, 23 ABC.